That fire continues to burn at a recycling plant in Richmond, Indiana. That fire has forced thousands to evacuate their homes. Gwyneth Falloon is live for us tonight in Richmond, talking to those residents and even the business owner. She joins us again tonight. And, and Gwen, what are they telling you? Adam and Elise, residents are both concerned and frustrated, along with just being stressed. Many of them are still displaced from their home, home, excuse me, even 24 hours later. Let's take a quick look at the scene and kind of what's going on here. As you can see, this is a much, much calmer picture than what we saw last night. There are still crews on the scene, but this main road here is reopened. Once again, it was blocked off last night, but there is still some smoke you can see up over there, um, kind of behind that building and into the trees there. That smoke we know is toxic. That's why we are wearing these masks for our safety. But some of the residents I spoke with, they say that the city has known about this and has known about this, excuse me, for years. And one resident even went as far as to say that it was a quote fire hazard just waiting to happen. He tells me he and his wife as well as their family pets are still out of their home now for over 24 hours. That's crazy. Residents still unable to return home Wednesday night. Have you been able to go drive by your home at all or see kind of what's going on there? Yeah, and it's just a big smoke cloud coming up through the backyard. So you don't feel safe staying there? No. Matt Rudisil lives less than a mile away from the recycling plant. He says he, his wife, and their family pets evacuated in just a half hour. It's very stressful and not knowing when and seeing the smoke clouds when you're coming from work and back home or back to wherever you're staying at and not knowing when you're going to be able to get in and out of your home. Local business owners just outside of the evacuation zone also expressing their concerns. You started to wonder how far it was going to, going to come. Owner Rick Schrader tells me he watched the fire rapidly spread from his business, complete power across the street. We were watching it and, and uh, had considered evacuating. Schrader says unfortunately a number of his employees have been displaced and is helping them as necessary in addition to lending his parking lot as a temporary command post for law enforcement and media. We were glad to be able to help that we could you know provide whether just restroom facilities or or electricity or whatever just so you have somebody a chance to get out of the sun. Residents and community members say the building was mostly unused and abandoned now demanding answers from the city. Driving by there all the time, you would see it and you'd be like, that's a fire hazard waiting to happen. Now again, much calmer scene tonight, but crews are still on the scene. We're going to continue our coverage and bring you the latest information as soon as it becomes available. Back to you. And of course, we will continue to follow this developing story for you. And as soon as we learn any new information, we'll update you on air and online. Just head to our website, though, right now, Dayton247now.com for the very latest information on that situation.